have a special guest. Um, his name is Vindro Damalis, and he lives here in Malta, and he teaches about meditation and enlightenment. Okay, so Vindro, if you'd like to share a few words, yes. what can you tell us about meditation as well? So, meditation, I've been teaching for about seven years, and the meditation is about being with yourself. It is about discovering something deeper inside you, which is something more than only the thoughts in our mind. So generally, we spend our whole day just by thinking and doing everything. But in meditation, our mind becomes silent. And this is where we connect with our deeper self. So we may experience our intuition arising. We may experience a moment of inspiration or a deeper creativity coming to us. So when people, for example, are involved in arts, when they are painting, they go somewhere in a deeper space. So this is where meditation comes in, is to go into that deeper place within you and just to be with yourself. So generally, people go, when they have any issues or anything, they go to the nature just to spend a few moments observing the seasides, just feeling the fresh air, and their minds and their thoughts come down, and then they feel better. Then suddenly everything arranges in their mind. And they say, oh, I, I feel much better now and maybe I know what to do. So their intuition arises and a deeper solution to a problem may come. So over the years, we had over 400 meditations in Malta alone. And people really enjoy it and it even changes their life. So many people come who, who say, I have such a stressful and hectic life and I feel that there has to be something more to life than only that. And in a few sessions, in a few classes, suddenly their minds become more tranquil. They start feeling more inner peace. Even their hearts start opening. So when the heart opens, many times they hold suppressed emotions for a prolonged period of time. So, so people say, I have a, a, a stone on my chest. And then when their hearts open, then this energy flows through. And then they say, I discovered the happiness or joy in my life. So meditation really helps to release the emotions, to release, to reduce the stress. Stress is a major problem in this modern society. So, because everyone has a hectic, very hectic lifestyle. Yes, exactly. Yes, and when they become matured enough, when people have enough of stressed life, then they turn to meditation or mindfulness, or to simply discover something more to life than only living in sake of the hectic. So what, what happens during meditation? Does some, like you have to sit and stay quiet? How, how does it work? Generally, I teach the guided meditation, but silence is most important. 
in the hectic life, our mind is constantly busy, it's constantly bombarded with thoughts. But when we sit down, when we start just simply to breathe and calm down our bodies, then suddenly the mind falls silent. And this is where people experience the inner peace. So it is a discovery, the experience of the inner peace, just to rest a little bit from this never stop talking voice in the head. So it has really healing benefits, not only for the mind, but emotionally. People release their emotions, their body becomes more relaxed, and even so many times I have seen their health improve as well. So the benefits are in your whole beingness. But is, it, is it a way as well how to breathe? Is it a way... Breathing is the beginning of meditation. Br breath helps to bring the mind to the present moment. When we breathe, we suddenly feel that we have a body. We suddenly feel the body. Like how many times normally people feel the breath during their day? People don't notice that their body is breathing. People don't even notice that they are alive. They're constantly focused on problems and solutions. So we suddenly come to our body and the body relaxes. The body loves when we are connected to the body. So. These are the healing effects. Can you tell us about some of the activities that you do? Yes, so meditations. We have meditations every Tuesday, every Thursday, in Gozo as well. We also have some special workshops where we go into certain um, deeper topics. They're more specialized uh, topics. Um, and there are workshops for beginners, for uh, many times, even so many people are new and they come and they say, I just want to find something more. Some people are... to calm down a bit. Yes, yes, yes. yes have yes. a break of some time. Yeah, just time. have a break, yes, from everything. <laughs> and uh, we have also retreats. So silent retreat is really beautiful way to literally disconnect from the mobile phones, from all the messages and Facebook and all these things and just to spend uh, three days in silence, just to be with oneself and to really recover, you know, it's, it's a really recovering process. So when people come out of these retreats, they feel totally new, totally fresh. You can see in their eyes, it's, it, there's this freshness, there is aliveness. I think it's something good to actually make three days without mobile and yes. like you, you cut from the rest of the world. And three days is a minimum. It's we, a minimum. Yes, we will have even five days, maybe even ten days retreats. And these require a bit more dedication and to really step fully with oneself. Because in three days, you, you need about one day to really switch the mind, you know, and the next day you already start feeling good. But in, in five days, I would say that is where the real biggest benefit would come. It, it really shifts one's perception and the, the body relaxes fully. And when they come back to the environment, to the family, to work, they feel much more refreshed. It's, it's even better than holiday, because on holiday people also made it very stressful, you know, they plan hundred things to do on their holiday and they, they keep on rushing from one place to another, you know. Sometimes they wake up actually very early, so who make it a point to yes. try and visit everything. And when they come back from holiday, they say, oh, I feel so tired. Okay, I need another holiday. <laughs> I need another holiday. <laughs> what is your main teaching? So the main teaching is about presence is about returning to the present moment returning from the mind from the past and the future we constantly live either in the memories of the past or in the future planning all the activities in our heads 
And the present moment is simply returning here and finding the beauty, the happiness and love which is already here in this present moment. And the deeper we dive into the present moment, the more we are connected to life, to God and to our own deeper self. So that is the main message, to connect with your true self. The importance of being, of actually living the moment. We had spoken with Leon a few weeks ago. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, Leon.